hopefully they're okay. And you know, hopefully no axes have been buried in the side of my head. <laughs> My name is Dan Mulhern, and I teach leadership both here at the Haas School of Business and at the Goldman School of Public Policy. Here we go, awful. Oh, and it's recent too. May 3rd, 2019. Oh, goodness. All right, here we go. Dan has a big ego, which makes him act irrational. He made this test easy because of the flood of emails he got. He tests things that aren't taught and assumes that they're common sense, but he sucks at writing questions. He's incoherent and talks in circles. Okay, interview is over. <laughs> you no longer have permission to do this. His slides go opposite of what he says, and he doesn't have a defense of his answers. Yeah, all right, dude. Like, if I was grading your paper, you're got 12 grammatical errors in seven lines. I mean, seriously, how can you stand up and say this stuff? Uh, but come back, take my advanced class. Maybe you'll get a B plus instead of a B. You won't have to cry to the world about it. <laughs> Just kidding, it's hard for me to say that kind of stuff, but uh, you know, it takes all kinds, including me and including you. Um, awesome. Caring, respected, inspirational. Well, he's great. That's cool. Happy to see that. Okay, so this guy or woman, it's funny how I default to guy, this person, um, gives me a good rating um, with some really good feedback, I think. So, Dan is a great guy. Well, I don't know about that so much, but however, the test he gave was at just absolute garbage. The main problem is that leadership isn't something that should be tested with multiple choice tests. And I completely agree with you. And I don't know how we grade 700 people with a multiple choice test. It has a very limited ability to capture what's important. In addition, the questions would ask random crap. So, I don't know, is garbage better than crap? We've gone from garbage to crap. But hey, you got a flame, you got a flame. Sometimes we mess up and um, Sometimes it's funny, especially when you have 50,000 grammatical errors telling us what the teacher who we are. <laughs> well, it's been fun doing this. Um, I've read my reviews. Hopefully I'm going to be a little bit better of a teacher, a little more compassionate maybe. If you'd like to see some of the work I do, I've done a TED Talk here at TEDx Berkeley on leadership. Easy to find. And about an interesting topic, leading by two. Not one, but two. Thanks again.